every Thursday these planes come by right around the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Got the goods, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, careful. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today I have a grocery haul for you. I haven't done one of these discount grocery store grocery hauls for you in a very long time, and I'm excited. We went up to my favorite store, which is Esh's, and there's two locations here in Colorado. I wanted a discount store, so what did I do? I went to Google and asked, where are discount stores in my area? And that's really all that you have to do. Sometimes you have to travel to them, but but salvage stores, essentially, if you don't know about them, are stores that carry products that are sometimes locally made, but oftentimes they are expired or damaged. And guess what? They're still edible because we talk about expiration dates all the time on the channel. You need to start ignoring some of those dates. They are recommended by those three letter agencies that really just don't have our best interests at heart. So I started ignoring them and you know, we started saving money on groceries. I will say we are not always successful when we go to these stores. Sometimes you just have to take what you can get, but this would be a great way to stock up on a budget. So if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. I make videos on preparedness. I try and teach you how to be prepared on a budget. And if you like, that kind of thing definitely hit the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it i have a lot to show you i think we got some great deals i had all three kids with me and it was just a little bit tricky to sit there and read some of the labels so some of these items are not my favorite thing to stock but i know my husband will eat them and we will have food in the event of an emergency when i talk about having food in the event of an emergency there could be so many things that could happen to us or our neighbors and my house is always welcome to anybody in need. So with that being said, go ahead if you have an extra five or ten dollars and stock up on some of these shelf stable foods. I think they will be helpful in the event of any emergency. And without further ado, let me get you turned around and show you what I got. All right, here is the haul. Again, I'm pretty proud of what we got and a lot of these items can be put into our prepper pantry. So something more shelf stable and that's generally what we're doing when we head up to Ashes. And just let me know your area, where you're at, where you're from, and we will try and find you a salvage store because they exist everywhere. Some people tell me they can't find discount store as well. Discount is my middle name. I know that sounds lame, um, but <laughs> I really, I really do like saving money and I like telling people about it. So if you ever are in a bind, let me know or dial your local 211. There are resources for you. You just have to reach out. So starting over here, we got the uncured turkey pepperoni sticks. And this was a good price and they were $2.89 a piece. So that's pretty decent. We got some bison for $5.14, some good sustainably caught uh, albacore tuna and water. That was $2.09, which may seem expensive for a can of tuna tuna but for the quality i feel like it's good we also got some bacon my husband said he just wants that for breakfast just to snack on so we just got one of those 5.99 so again not the best price but for the quality that is what we're going for the steak and cheddar burritos were 4.59 i know that one and that was uh four of them which is pretty decent i got those for my husband he just likes quick meals we have certified organic free range eggs i water glass some of our eggs i will insert a picture here somewhere and uh use them all up so of course we had to go to the store and actually buy chicken eggs but organic valley that's a really good uh i don't know price for they were 4.99 i think for the free range certified organic now we have um we'll get to water at last because i kind of wanted to chat about that we got the good crisp creepy crisps let's see what was that creepy crisp for a dollar 59 we got the jojo's dark chocolate pumpkin spice filled bites and those were a good price. They were in like the double discount shelf. They were 75 cents. And then the Farmland Organic Plant Protein Peanut Butter Dark Chocolate Chips were 75 cents. We got the Lily's Dark, Dark Chocolate Caramel Popcorn. They were also 75 cents. The Brown Gravy Mix. Let me find it on here. Brown Gravy Mix was 65 cents. And then I got my husband the bread that he likes, $1.69 each. Uh, we're just going to freeze these. He really loves the Sara Lee bread. I, I make him bread. I promise I do, but it's not the same, he says. Then we got some coffee beans. They always have really great coffee deals there. This was $1.75, which is pretty unheard of. So I was 
excited about that. I have wanted to try these Paisley Farm Asian bean salads. I see them at Costco all the time. I just can't justify buying them. And they were at Esh's for $1.80. So you really can't beat that. I am excited to try them. We got some fresh pressed apple cider, the big bees. That's like my favorite cider. If you're on the other channel, I'm always getting that. And I'm also always getting the Uncle Matt's organic juice and they are always $1.75. They are past expiration, but they still taste just fine to me. And you could also freeze these if you wanted to, just pour them in some mason jars, not all the way to the top, but could freeze them and get them out for a rainy day. We have bananas. We always get the Kerrygold butter blends because they're a good price. So the chive and onion, they were $1.75. We got two two of those. And then back here, we got the Serrano sea salt vinegar potato chips. I love Siete potato chips, but they are pricey. So I think they're normally $5.99, but this was $1.59. Now, water. I was excited to find this. We got the Mountain Valley spring water. And if you listen to Gary Brecka, I really enjoy him. I recommend him. He was talking about water and how to store it. So glass is a great way to store it. And he recommended the Mountain Valley. So I was excited to find these for a dollar fifty nine each and then i also saw these alkaline waters which was pretty cool these were 69 cents and uh they're bottled at the source 8.1 alkaline and ph so let's read about it our alkaline spring water is bottled at the source so yes the important part about this water is there's naturally occurring minerals and electrolytes so i think this will be great and i've been really trying to store non uh, plastic bottled water just because of the longevity you never know what's in those plastics and i think it would be a good idea to start stocking water in glass and or water in um you know aluminum or whatever that's stored in but to be honest with you a lot of people that i know a lot of canners they store water in their glass jars that they're not using and you can totally do that i just don't have any glass jars that i'm not using so my suggestion would be to just grab some of your you know sauce jars and stuff and you could put water in there but yes that was my quick little haul for you let me know what your favorite item is because wow there's a lot in here and i'm excited i think we got some really good deals Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I wanted to just stop and thank you for all of your patience and support over the last couple of weeks. I have explained that things have been a bit challenging uh, when it comes to working with brands and when it comes to just trying to stand my ground on certain aspects of this channel. This business is what we shall call it. So I have really been trying to get in the groove of things and get videos out to you, but sometimes it's out of my control. So I just really appreciate the support. I know some of you watch the other channel but if you're ever missing my channel go ahead over to my lifestyle channel and we talk about homesteading and momming and all those things so if you like that kind of thing definitely hit the subscribe button over there check my description box for some sales and some discounts all of the links are there for you if you have any questions let me know and i'm going to catch you on the next one as always stay adventurous stay creative bye y'all